All right, let's do it, man. Hopefully I can play this lane pretty well. We did get against our last GP. I feel okay in the matchup, but I, I do feel like it is kind of a tough matchup. It feels really easy to mess up in. It's kind of like Darius in a sense. I mean, the matchup isn't really that similar, but in the sense where I feel comfortable, but you can mess up pretty easy. Why did you start Dorn Shield and not Potions? Uh, do you mean Corruption Potions or like, or Cloth with like a bunch of Potions? D-Shield is just nice against his Q-Poke. D-Shield plus second win combo I find really nice. Oh, Corruption Potion. Yeah, I just, I don't really like Corruption Potion on there, Got. I find D-Shield just gives you better sustain. And then also, if you get a Cole with that D-Shield, it's, it's super nice. D-Shield, second win Cole. As far as playing Urgot goes, it gives you pretty decent sustain. Right, they got the Singe Jungle, man. I don't know the pathing on that champion at all. Don't really know the power of his ganks either. Aw, oh, man, if I landed that Q, that would have been so good. If I land that Q, then I land E. And his passive was down. If I could just slow push for a callback, that'd be ideal right now. Wow, nice. I thought he was going to flash. I was kind of hovering like way behind here just in case he flashes. I guess that's why he didn't. I'm surprised he's TPing. I think I can probably hold my TP. Oh man, he's still got a Sheen though. Alright, that's fine. We got the build we wanted. Like I said, D-Shield, Cole, second win, refillable. We should be able to live. We should be able to live the GP Lin. No, don't go for double call. I don't even think you can cash in your call and then like get a new one. I think you used to be able to do that. I don't think you can anymore. I'll try to thin this down a little bit. I might be able to hold this. It's hard against the barrels though. Yeah. It's a little bit too greedy then. If I last hit that barrel, I could have. Yeah, getting a double coal probably would be a good strat on Ergot if you could do that. It'd be really nice sustain. 
6 HP every W tick. That'd be kind of crazy. Oh, you gotta ping something, dude. Good thing I was literally one minute off six there. That was clutch. You know what? I'm actually gonna go Prowler's Rush this game. Early game is going super well. We can press our lead with Prowlers a little bit more. Oh, I don't know about this. This is so scuffed, man. Got a Zeri TP, I just gotta run. That was pretty sketchy. He wanted me to tank, but I honestly didn't want to go for the play. My lane is going so good, we don't really need to do something that risky. It's like going for a 50-50 Baron when your team is hard winning team fights. There's just no need to go for something like that. If I had a little bit more mana to work with, we could easily kill this guy. Honestly, might just TP back for mana. Actually, Swifty Buy is really good this game. They have a ton of slows. That fits my gold way better, too. Dang, I think he was recalling in that middle bush. That would have been sick. We were probably like one second off. Why are people playing Zeri mid now? Wait, was that a Gangplank ulti? Did you guys see that? It was like one wave of a Gangplank ulti. That was weird. I think that was a visual bug. Yeah, Zeri mid is kind of like Lux though. Um, basically, Riot really buffed up the AP damage on her W. So her late game Ws are like many Lux ultis. If you land like one or two, you can just win a fight. Maybe ulted for the wave? I don't know, the wave like wasn't even there yet. And it was only one take of a Gangplank ulti, so I'm, I'm thinking that's got to be a bug. I've never seen that before, though. Yeah, see, Swifties are really nice for dodging those barrels. They're good in the matchup, and they're good for the overall game, too. Wow, he's not even going for the cannon. Nice. This guy's scared.
city soaking in a tender's grasp. Let's get a deep ward down. I think against Sandra, I just have to deep ward. I don't think a close ward really does anything for me. His whole top side is down, so he's probably not top. This guy's trying to look for a gangplank ulti. I'll put a little bit of pressure on him. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. I am not your enemy. That was a good triple barrel. I respect it. We should make him burn TP. Oh, never mind. If he doesn't recall, we can dive. That was literally last millisecond of the grinder, I'm pretty sure. Looks like Zeri's up here. I think we're okay to push that. Unless Singe pops out. I'll just save my E right now. I usually always try to save my E unless I know where everyone is. If I know where everybody is, then I can use it to push. But if you're ever feeling sketched out, you definitely want to save that. Hey, welcome in, Pristine. Good luck with the game. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate it, dude. It's looking pretty good. Their mid is their mid is farming super well. Holy moly! Ten per minute CS. Deaths. I should be able to kill this gangplank pretty easy. We got prowlers, flash, swifties. If he walks in my key range, we should be able to kill. He's been playing a little bit too safe. Like, he's almost 40 CS down. The thing about playing safe in League, man, people say just play safe, but if you do that, then you fall behind in CS. Also, I think he's going for this ground. Let's try to cut him off. Oh, he's not. He's just really scared. Thought I could catch him sneezing there for a sec. Oh, that's not good. Tanked as much as I could. It's so hard to dive nowadays, man. Turrets are so strong. Mm, 
I don't really need refillable. I'd rather keep my coal for now. I'm gonna miss a wave. Hmm. Do I get this? Dang, not worth. Not worth my TP. Let's try to get Shelly then. I couldn't remember if it was a cannon wave or not, sadly. It's all good. It still gives us some tempo, so I guess it's not completely a waste. Well, I gotta say, this Gangplank is playing it pretty, pretty safe, man. I think he's doing a good job at playing really safe. Nice, that was sick. I got the R buffer there with my E. It seems like a game where Black Cleaver isn't necessarily amazing. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's amazing, but I don't know. I feel like Cleaver is always good still. Like, this item is just made for Urgot, I feel like. You just stack it up so fast. And I feel like come mid-game, everybody's kind of a little bit tanky on the durability. Or, since the durability patch. I mean, I guess not really tanky, but kind of beefy to where you still get pretty good value out of it. Yeah, definitely not the most insane Cleaver game. Maybe I should have got it third. Mm, let's get a Scrying Orb. It must be really easy to farm on Zeri, huh? I feel like every Zeri mid I see just has so much CS. Oh, I can't believe I got that cannon. You wonder what the build would look like without Black Cleaver or Titanic? Probably just like full Lethality. Probably Lethality items with like a Grudge or something. You'd be really squishy, but you'd be pretty strong. Also, Gangplank just got a random triple. How did he manage that, dude? He was completely shut down. Hey, now he's gonna be pretty strong. I should win still, though. I'm on my power spike with two items. I think we'll be alright. W. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. It's like a mini Lux ulti. She's only on one item, too, and it's a mirror mana. Like, she doesn't even have her mythic yet. I think Zeri's their good player this game. That's kind of scary feeding her a little bit. Still a good play, though. I would have killed that Singe if that minion wave wasn't in the way. It was messing up my W. Hmm, let me think about this. I feel like Titanic is definitely good this game. I got TP if they need. 
Well, I got nothing at TP2, actually. Do we have a ward? Yeah, Zeri W is better than Lux Ulti Trio. It gets really insane late game, dude. I've seen it almost completely one shot somebody. I don't know exactly what Riot did, but they gave it like a, a ton of AP scaling or something for some reason. That guy should be dead, right? I guess he's playing Singe. He can just run out. Alright, three item spike at 22 minutes. That's really solid. Titanic is super expensive, so if you're going Titanic, it's extremely good. Got double TP. We need to try to make a Baron play happen. Probably after drag. What is this guy doing? Wait, where's he going? Oh man, I didn't get the E buffer. That would have been sick. There's no way this guy's alone. I might be able to take multiple though. Yeah, the Swifties are really nice into that Rallies. I think if I'm not running Swifties, I maybe don't get that kill. Play for drag. Could they steal with a Zeri W actually? Mm, they must have vision. We'll just wait for jungle in that case. Try to pull it this way. Dude, where did my HP go? Alright, time to get some MR, I guess. We got a double enchanter. Let's get a spirit, vis spirit visage this game. I think that'll be solid. And a Mountain Drake Shield, too, if we get the soul. <laughs> Don't really know what that champion does. Honestly, Zeri's just a nuke champion. AP Zeri's just a nuke, man. That's all it is. It's almost like a... It's almost kind of like a better Zerath, I would say, in a sense. She can just be really far and just completely nuke. But it's similar to Zerath in the sense where if you dodge out that W, then the champ's not really that insane, right? Dang, he died. Wait, they both died? Oh, 
I'm thinking this game, we maybe just play for Soul, man. It seems kind of hard to play for Baron. I can't get the E buffer right now for some reason. He dies if I buffer his E. These minions are trying to creep block me into the poison. I wonder if the Singe knows about the E buffer. Like, I wonder if he knows how lucky he's getting. I'm getting the sense that he doesn't. I should have turned my W off. Whoops. This is a problem with going magic resist, is now the gangplank is super good against me. I feel like my team should be putting more pressure on Baron, but I guess I do want to play for that soul. But man, Singe is like perma bot lane, and that's their jungle. I almost feel like we could just force a Baron pretty easily. Really sold rumble damage. We could probably TP. Wow, that double support is so nice, man. I'll TP. Sweet, there's the spirit message. We have so many shields on this team comp, so it's really high value. It's gonna buff those by 25%. Dude, I'm feeling so fast this game. I should get a dead man's for my armor item. Just go super speed. Okay, that combo is absolutely disgusting. Seraphine Rumble, dude. I've never seen that combo. That's insane. Oh, it's just Lulu. Can we kill this? <laughs> That's a singe, man. It's annoying, though, because he's going to kill the wave. That's all this guy does, man. He just takes bot wave. I don't know, that Mountain Soul shield looks actually kind of tiny. But I do have a lot of HP. Ooh, that doesn't look good. I don't want to path that way, it seems dangerous. Oh, my E's down. Oh, thank you, Singe. That's one way to get over wolves with their gut. That's a gigantic rumble, holy moly.
Nice. Good game, dude. Wait, I'm still firing at the Nexus? What the heck? I welcome you. Literally zero HP. Whoa, Heiser Fieger. Thank you for the five gifted, dude. Holy moly. Thank you, man. Appreciate the support, dude. That was a really nice team count, man. I wish I could honor everybody. Rumble kind of played topside, which made my life pretty easy. I think that Gangplank was also really scared, man. I don't know. He was playing it safe, which was good. One thing that Urgot struggles with is that... Uh, it's hard to force on people that play safe. The best thing to do in that situation is get a call and just try to get a good CS lead. And like maybe try to make plays with your jungle. I was trying to get deep wards in the jungle to roam, but Singe never really showed topside jungle, which is kind of weird. But we had a we had a hundred CS lead on the gangplank, which is pretty insane. I think at one point I had like a 50 CS lead in that lane because he's just playing so safe. <laughs> 